The sun rises over my crown My torch will keep things bright There are no creepers inside It's the world of So I've been trying some some different ideas for kind of aesthetic stuff. Um, the first idea I had was to have some steps leading up to the, the wood and then the stone bricks. But then I thought that was kind of just flat and uninteresting. <clears throat> so I tried it with pushing this back a little bit. But even still, it doesn't quite look quite as good. I still think this looks much better than this. But I thought I would try it. But I don't think I'm going to go with that one. Um, again, this is just purely a test. Um, to see, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go full steam ahead on de decoration stuff yet because it would be a waste of time until I really decide what I want to do in this place. But for now, I'll leave this here just to remind myself that's kind of roughly what, what I'm gonna go for for this area. Now, I do actually like the fact that it's kind of half half uh, man-made, half cave system type thing. So it looks like I've also kind of just updated this a little bit to accommodate for a few more things. Um, and whatnot. Added these stairs, and I think I'm gonna probably set up some kind of stairs over here as well. I'm not really sure yet, because it wouldn't really look like if I sit. It seems more sensible to start the stairs here and have them go up that way. But then there would be this awkward, like if you picture this being the next set of stairs over here. <clears throat> this would look just kind of awkward. So I thought. Maybe I'll just start the next staircase like this, um, and that just keeps it looking uniform. But, as I say, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet. The grass is also spread and I have removed um, most of it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the entrance up there yet. Oh, I still think I'm on peaceful just now. So, the grass has been moved down and it's also um, in a kind of uniform way. So this is uh, technically two because there's a stair block there. So it's two all the way around, and then we get five here, and then two going this way. So the, the grass is actually symmetrical with the room. The only thing that isn't right now is this, but I'm going to fix that. Because it was kind of annoying me. <clears throat> so we're going to have the... Or Ah, oh, dang it. So the middle of it is here. So where's my... I've got the wood out, actually. So we'll move this over. So it's not exactly... Strictly speaking, covering up that space, and you get these blocks. But thankfully I do have smooth stone, so it's easy to cover up any tracks. And this, I can hear a spider somewhere. I'm not sure where it's chilling though. Anyway, I'm really glad people are liking this. In the previous episode, I was really, really happy with it. Just with the progress that was made, um, and just the workflow in general general that I have. Um, you know, what I, I would actually been doing, instead of sitting down for, like, say, half an hour to record an episode, I just record in small little chunks, or, you know, if I'm doing something important, I'll record in maybe, like, 10 or 15 minute chunks. But then I just edit that down to bring, you know, the most interesting parts of that. Because there's certain parts, for example, clearing out this space was would have been really, really boring to watch. So just working out what parts, you know, are worth keeping and showing off and what parts to cut out and when is best to speak and when's best to just, you know, um, provide no commentary and, and just cut those parts out. So I'm, I'm enjoying it and it's a workflow that I really like and it's one that I've always kind of wanted to have when making Minecraft videos but never did uh, manage to stick to it. So I'm liking that little dynamic um, right now, but I'm not sure what else what else I really want to do. But I do want to explore the rest of the cave just now. I'm going to make like a temporary... What can I use? Just cobble. Just a temporary way up here. Because we need to have a look around. I think I need to go and make another pickaxe first. How did I do that? Hmm. Anyway. But yeah, I'm also very open to feedback and stuff as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's this is as much my journey in Minecraft as it is yours. So if you do have any suggestions, however big or small, uh, feel free to let me know where's I'll have stick on me. 
Um, <clears throat> so yeah, one thing I'm thinking of doing is if we, I'm going to sleep until day, hold on. If we head out, you'll see there's actually a sand biome literally just over the hill. Um, around here, hopefully there's nothing dangerous around. Just up here, we have the sand biome. Actually, we came from that biome because I recognise this. But we can go and grab a bunch of sand and turn it into glass, which I'll do that in a minute. I'll do that, you know, off camera or whatever. But the reason I want to get that sand is so that I can go and put some down in, into the ravine that I mentioned. Uh, I think I mentioned that anyway. I wanted to go to a ravine and cover the entire, you know, gap that's created with with glass and then build around it, you know, some cool things could be built around that. Um, I completely forget where the ravine is. Was it down that hole that I blocked off? I don't recall it being there. If so, I'm going to have to make some stairs to get there. Unless it's... Hmm, I'm going to light this place up a little bit as well in case we get any nasty spawns. This is all a dead end, I guess. So it must be down the area that I blocked off. So I will go and, uh, well first I need to make stair, or ladder rather, let's take this away, don't really need this here. So I need the ladders, because I'll want to get up and down from, actually that should be enough, we only need two I think, hmm. I had no idea you get... Since when did you get three ladders? That seems weird to me. Is that a bug or intentional? I never I never noticed that in any patch notes or anything like that. So that's, that's interesting to see. Hmm. Oh well. I'm not going to complain. Free, free stuff. <laughs> More or less. I have no idea where this ravine has suddenly got to. I get the feeling it's down here somewhere. I'll have a look around, I guess. Hmm. And if anything, lighting this place up is going to be beneficial to us. Let's get some more torches. Now, I, as I say, I, I do actually notice all these materials, believe it or not. I know the gold and the iron is over there. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't like to stop and collect them, I can, they're always going to be there, so I don't worry about collecting them as soon as I spot them. Ooh. Oh wow, that, that leads out right into the ravine, which is kind of cool. Let's light this up. That, that's quite cool actually, that this leads out. Well, I actually don't think this is the same ravine. Wow. There's, if there's a third one over here, that's going to be crazy. If there's a third one, that would make a ridiculous... Um, oh, I'm not safe right now. I need to... Ooh, they're coming. Let's uh, head back. Because that's crazy if there's... I mean, two spawners alone, that's going to create an excellent XP farm. But if there's three, <laughs> that's going to make an even more um, efficient one. Or something like that. Hmm. Like that, so nothing spawns while I'm out of here trying to find stuff. So yeah, um, I think I'll. I actually I don't need spider stuff right now. I was going to say I really do need a, a mob farm or a mob spawner of some kind because I really need gunpowder. Um, as I said in a previous video, probably episode four, that I really need uh, TNT to be able to you know blow up pathways and things like that because it's becoming mind-numbingly boring to have to dig all this stuff out manually. So I, I, I'd like TNT but I'm not going to rush to it if I can't you know just throw together a mob trap immediately then we'll just get around to it. So let's take one more look at this. Oh look at that. Speak of the devil. 
Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. That works. They only destroyed four blocks. I'm convinced their damage is greatly reduced. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain about that either. Oh. I don't want them to explode, I want to try and kill them, but... I... Ooh. He seems very uninterested in me. That was odds. <clears throat> hmm. So that's cool. This entire thing all kind of connects up into the same place, which is nice. Get these creepers. Let's try and actually kill one this time. Nope, nothing. Okay. They must be spawning up here. Okay, I'm wasting too much time. Let's go and um, take a look at those spawners. And then f after that, uh, I think I'll stop for a minute and just think about what I want to do this episode. Um, introduction's getting a little bit too long for my liking. Um... But that's really interesting to find those those spiders, so I'm going to have a look. I think it was around here. Yeah. So we've got one spawner there, one down that hallway there, which is dangerous. Right now the spiders are... I was just going to say, they're going to clock onto me and immediately start attacking. Let's do this. I'm not sure. Oh, whatever. Let's just go before I get too distracted here. Nah, it was just a, a big um, hallway of of webs. It would have been cool to have had three spawners so close by, but I'm not really fussed by it. Two. I mean, one this close to spawn is is good, but two, it's ridiculous. this so that I can go over what, what a jump oops snap <clears throat> looks like it goes further down there as well Oh snap. Oh, that was really lucky. Let's block that off. That was really, really lucky. <clears throat> okay, that'll stop anything from getting to us. I can't pick those up. So now I want to look down this hallway because there may be a chance. Oh, are you kidding me? Where? Where? Do they spawn like over here? Because it's... I don't know. I've no idea. I didn't like this up either. Okay, I am going to... See, I want to get this on camera if there's a another one down here, but... It probably isn't. Chances are it's... It's another one of those hallways. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to cut here and I'll come back once I think of something to do today. Um, but that's interesting, we can definitely use these to make a couple of mob spawners and seeing as we are down, we could probably make some kind of mob evator to bring both spawners up into one central point to some kind of collection zone where we can kill them for the XP. So we'll definitely think about that um, over, over the next few episodes. Um, that'd just be good in general to get the XP because then we could use that to enchant our weapons and stuff. But just now I'm going to go and think of something to do. Um, because that was a bit of a long introduction. So, yeah, be right back. Okay, so I've decided a few things that I want to do here. First of all, um, I want to do something up here. Probably like a wheat farm or something like that. Um, because... 
we really that's kind of the main thing we're really going to need food and then we're going to need to make like an animal farm or something like that so I definitely think let's try and get this uh, hmm oh we don't have space uh, sure okay so we need to make, I'm going to make a wheat farm here, I think I'm going to try, I think I could fit a 9 by 9 in here, which I think would yield 80, yeah, I think 80 pieces, because it would be 81, but the middle block will be removed to place a bucket of water so that it saturates all blocks. I think that works out. I'm also going to light these caves up just so nothing spawns. Looks like this leads down to something here. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough, but we just want to reduce our chances of getting crapped on by mobs, so we'll light this place up. So I think on, you know, the, the priority things right now is to make a wheat farm and then to get some animals breeding and then probably going to have to make some kind of mob spawner. Um, just something quick and dirty, not like a not a really advanced one yet. We're not at a level where making advanced mob traps and stuff is really sensible in any capacity. So I think we're probably better off just making something like maybe, I don't know how deep we are uh, into this cave. I think you know, the surface is right there, isn't it? That I think quite literally is the surface block. Let's find out. Um, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fucking fifteen. I need to be careful here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll just get it roughly here. Yeah, there were two blocks, two or three blocks from. Hmm. Yeah, so we don't have a lot of space to work with. Uh, on an upward direction, so what we're probably going to have to do is make a mob trap downwards. Um, down somewhere, maybe down that cave, or I don't really know. We're going to have to work something out. Just something simple to spawn mobs to get us a few useful items, especially uh, gunpowder. But I think the main priority here is to make a wheat farm because we need food, and then when we get all that food, when we get a surplus of wheat, we can then turn that into. Um, you know, breeding tools, thing, new ways to breed. I think cows are going to be the best bet. They yield the most valuable items. Um, you know, usually two or three pieces of food, and then a lot of leather, which can be used for temporary armor. So I'm just thinking about what is like the most kind of efficient path to take. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was get rid of this and completely scrap the idea of making a staircase similar to that here. What I'm going to do instead is just turn this section here into a pathway um, that leads up to this and we'll obviously make this look more fancy over time. But what I'll do just now is I'll go up and I'll go and collect all the seeds that we need uh, to turn or to make a farm and I think... Huh, don't need too much more dirt. Sorry about that, I just punched the microphone. Um, so I'll go and get the, the seeds we need and the dirt, the remaining dirt that we need and then I'll I'll probably film the process of making the wheat farm if for whatever reason you don't know how to make one or don't really have an idea of how to make one or if you're using my world save and just wish to uh, follow along with me. Also I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention here, hold on let me just fix this. Oh snap! That was right in my face. Jeez, I'm gonna have to sleep. Anyway, as I was going to mention before we were rudely interrupted, is that <laughs> I'm not gonna give my world save out every single episode. I just I realised the flaw in doing so. If I release um, three episodes a week and I put out a save, you know, every episode, then you're never going to make any progress in your own, you know, you might take my save and you might really like it and you might think, well, I want to start my own adventure on this 
on this map or this uh, save. So I think releasing uh, and excuse my pedantry here trying to fix this. Um, so I think giving it a save that often is just a little bit um, extreme. But I'm going to leave this here as well. Uh, I like the little, the moonlight that comes in at night time. Uh, so I think every, I guess every Friday episode or something like that, every Friday or every, I don't know, just every three episodes. I, I'm not sure how I want to space it, but I am going to space it out a little bit more. Um, let's try and kill this instead of letting him explode. So yeah. You're going to get the world saved, not every episode, but every few episodes, just to space it out so you can get a chance to, you know, explore and do what you want to do. But anyway, I'm going to... Wait, I'm wasting more time. It seems like the whole episode I've just been babbling about stuff, so I'm going to actually get something done before we come to an end here. Okay, so I, I went ahead and uh, collected a bunch of birch and turned it into the light wood, which is kind of my new favourite block. Really love this wood. So here's the full kind of setup that I want to go around maybe this entire thing. What I also think I'm going to do is if you've seen, oh wow, if you've seen the, you know, 10 details and decorations video, which I'll put an annotation on the screen I guess if you're curious about that, um, I, I made those little creeper faces, I think I'm going to make some of those, uh, maybe one on each wall of a different type of material or I'm not really sure yet. Um, maybe I could do it with wool in the background, give you know the creeper different coloured eyes and mouth and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe I'll do one, you know, three along each wall, and that'll be it. Just some kind of little mural or monument or something like that. Uh, I thought it'd be really cool. I also was just playing around with how I want to design this section. Um, I know it's as I said before, it's kind of early to be doing anything aesthetical or anything that involves, you know, vanity and, and using up blocks purely for looks, but, you know, I'm just playing around with it in my own time, I'm not really worrying about whether or not I'm going to achieve what I want to do or not yet, so I'm just leaving it up to, up to uh, messing around with. Anyway, so we're going to make this 9x9 nine nine wheat farm. I need to get rid of this. Okay, let's light it back up. I did get some zombies coming down from here, so yeah, there's another one. So I think I may have missed somewhere. Though I thought I went down that hallway and lit up, so I'm not sure if I've just not given it the appropriate lighting or not, but either way. I actually need another shovel. It will be pivotal in the design of this farm. Um, let's grab this. Anyway, so... And I also collected like a surplus of dirt and it also turned out that I had a bunch of seeds. I'm not sure where I got the seeds now, I can't even remember. But in any case, let's see if we can fit this. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. I think if I take away these, because I just I'd like it to be uniform as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. One, two. Four, five, six, eight, nine. Okay, I'll finish digging up the space and then we'll come back and do the rest. Okay. <clears throat> We're done here, so all we need to do is place the water, which will saturate up to four blocks. So we got one, two, three, four, all around. And I'm going to be very picky and fill this in with a smooth stone because it just annoys me. It looks weird. Anyway, so and then any distance, you know, one, two, three, four. We're always four blocks away, so this entire thing can be saturated. Nice exp. How did that guy? Did I kill him? Hmm. I can't remember. So we need to make a a hole. I think I'll just make an iron one. Uh, chances are we're going to have to use it a lot anyway, so... Where's... There we go. I can hear something. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. So 
So once we finish this farm off, I think I'll just I'll leave the game running to let everything grow. I would bone meal it, but it just seems like what? This is odd. This is actually deleting my seeds as well. I don't know if you can see that. Is that something to do with the stone, maybe? Oh. Okay, so I'm... I'm silly. Um, it's actually just to do with the light, and I don't know why I didn't think of it, because of course, you always have to have light in your wheat farms. So, I have done so. Um... And everything should be good now. Um, of course, I need to light this side, but yeah, it should be relatively easy. I'm just going to finish this off. So I thought it was just something to do with like the water being too far or something like that. But as you can see, these blocks are saturating and they're still four blocks away. So I'll leave it at that. I think I'm going to end this one here, guys. Um, as always, if you have any advice or if you have any suggestions for things to build... Or if you're just enjoying the series, leaving comments is always nice. I do appreciate ratings, but they really don't mean anything. I'm just going to go based on comments rather than likes and dislikes. So let me know what you think, and I will see you all later.